Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh General the lecturer Ustaz Dr. Kaharudin SIPM Hum As a lecturer for discourse analysis And all my beloved friends who have time to watch my video Well, first of all, that's thanks to the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Who has given us mercy and blessing so that I can complete my assignment And don't forget to send the salawat to our best prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Allahumma sallallahu alaihi wasallam barakam Who has broke us from the darkness uh, into the likeness From the jahiliya era into the islamia era or in the modern era Well, in this case, allow me to introduce myself My name is Rizka Febrianti from PBIA Majoring in English Education, Faculty of Tarbiya and Teacher Training At UIN Alaudin Makassar Well, in this opportunity, I would like to answer 5 point question from my assignment So, the first question is from the point A, what do you know of written discourse analysis and explain your answer in detail and give example. So, my answer, written discourse analysis is the study of written text to understand how they are structured and how they convey meaning. This involves examining the coherence and cohesion of text. The use of grammatical and lexical devices and the interaction between text and context. For instance, in analyzing a newspaper article, one may uh, look at how, uh, how the author use pronouns to maintain coherence on, or how uh, the conjunction like ideas to ensure a smooth flow of information. Written discourse analysis help identify patterns and structure that make text readable and meaningful. Additionally, this approach often incorporates the concept of writing in the social context, which classifies written discourse into three main categories. The first one is personal writing, like uh, such as letters and emails. The second one uh, is business writing, such as CV and proposal. And the last but not least is academic writing. We all know about the academic writing such as thesis and article and etc. Each category has its own unique characteristic and then uh, convention, making it essential and to understand the specific context in which the writing occurs to analysis is effectively. Well, move to the second question is, is it important to carry out a written discourse analysis? Why? And explain your answer in detail and give example. Um, for me, yes, it is so crucial to carry out written discourse analysis because it enhances our understanding of how text function and how they can be improved for better comprehension. For example, educators can use discourse analysis to identify common pitfalls in students' writing, such as a poor coherence or inappropriate use of cohesive device. This understanding can inform technique, uh, teaching strategies, helping students develop skills to write more effectively. Additionally, professionals in field like journalism, law, and literature can use discourse analysis to craft clearer, more persuasive text. Move to the third question. Are the approaches used in spoken discourse and written discourse the same or different? Explain your answer in detail. Well, in analyzing the approaches to spoken discourse and written discourse, it becomes evident that while both involve the use of language for communication, their methodologies and impasses differ significantly. So it's very different. Uh, written discourse uh, focus on heavily on the structure arrangement of sentence and paragraph, emphasizing coherence and cohesion through grammatical and lexical devices such as uh, referencing, substitution, and conjunction. This approach aims to create a text that is not only grammatical correct but also contextually appropriate, ensuring clarity and readability for the reader. In contrast, spoken discourse prioritizes immediate interaction and responsiveness often characterized by spontaneity. 
and a focus on social interaction rather than formal structure uh, coherence. Conversation, debates, and interviews exemplify this dynamic, where participants employ strategies like turn-taking and clarification to maintain engagement and mutual understanding. Therefore, while both forms serve communication purposes, they employ distinct strategies tailored to their respective context and communicative goals. Well, we move to the next question is, what do you think of Keiko's 2001 methodology in carry out written discourse analysis and do you agree with it? Um, from my answer, Keiko's 2001 methodology for written discourse analysis is highly effective by integrating microanalysis of grammar and vocabulary with macroanalysis of text structure and patterns. This approach provides a comprehensive understanding and this methodology includes systematic techniques for analyzing text structure, identify cohesive and coherent ideas, and coherent devices and examining the interaction between text and context, thus offering um, valuable insight into how text function and how they can be improved. This comprehensive method allows learning to understand both language use and text organization, essential for effective writing. Also, with 2016 research on teaching coherence support this by demonstrating that understanding at both micro and macro levels empowers students to create clear and well-structured written communication. Consequently, I agree with Keiko's methodology as it is through replicable and provide clear guidelines for analyzing with our discourse. Move to the last question. What do you know of micro-analysis of written discourse and is it relevant to satisfy the need of regulation among non-native English writers? Explain your answer in detail. Well, microanalysis of written discourse involves a detailed examination of small textual units like phrases, sentence, word, present, and sentence, aiming to identify specific issues such as uh, inappropriate vocabulary, grammar errors, and lack of coherence. This method acts as a critical tool for improving the writing skill of non-native English writers, writers by uh, pinpointing, pinpointing common challenges they face. For instance, analyzing the usage of article and preposition in essay helps educators provide target feedback, enabling students to correct mistakes and enhance their written place. Fluency. By addressing these issues systematically, teachers can effectively tailor their interaction to meet the specific needs of non-native writers, thereby facilitating incremental improvements in their writing abilities. Well, maybe that's all from my answer for five questions. I hope this video can uh, help us to uh, understanding about the micro analysis uh, usually in writing and spoken uh, discourse analysis as interaction and maybe that's all from me thank you so much thank you for watching and see you in the next video assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh